Well, I turned to David and I said, all right, David, we have the New Testament message here. It's, it's still accurate to what it says, but it doesn't look like Jesus claims to be God anywhere in there. Where does he claim to be God? It took me a while, but I began to realize that when I read the New Testament, the way it's supposed to be read from the perspective of those who understand the Old Testament, then Jesus very clearly claims to be God. I didn't want to go to John. Most people said, ah, look at John. In the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, the Word was God, and the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld His glory, glory of the only begotten. Look, clearly Jesus is claiming to be God here. Well, number one, no, it's not Jesus talking, that's John talking. But number two, that's the Gospel of John. That's really, really late. I want to look at the beginnings of Christianity. I want to see how, from the very first part of the Christian message, Jesus is proclaimed as God. And so I went to the first Gospel, the Gospel of Mark. And it was precisely there where I read Mark chapter 14, verse 62, which when I understood what that verse was, it blew my mind. And yet here, the one who looks like a son of man, who has glory, authority, and sovereign power in heaven, came as God comes, is being served in heaven with the service due only to God by all people of every nation and language. And then it says his kingdom is one that will not pass away and his dominion will never be destroyed. Wait a minute. Stop. In the Old Testament, you've got God being worshipped in heaven, and then you have one who looks like a son of man being worshipped in heaven with a service due only to God in His own kingdom. No one tell me that there's no foreshadow of the Trinity in the Old Testament. It actually starts in Genesis chapter 1, verse 1, but it's clearly found here as well. And it was precisely there where I read Mark chapter 14, verse 62, which when I understood what that verse was, it blew my mind. Here Jesus claims to be the Son of Man from Daniel. He claims to be the I Am from Exodus. And he claims to be the one sitting at the right hand of the power from Psalms 110 verse 1. Jesus very clearly claims to be God in Mark chapter 14 verse 62 when you understand his context. I just looked at the evidence and I said, oh, I'm not convinced. But the thing that was keeping me from being convinced was the cost that I would have to pay subconsciously. And so I began to pray. And I prayed fervently. And I prayed to God. I said, God, I have come to a point where I realize that I cannot figure out who you are. You have to tell me who you are. And if you will tell me to be a Christian and to follow Jesus, I will follow you. But when I finally get to Matthew 10, this is what I find. He who proclaims me before the people of this world, I will proclaim before my Father in heaven. And he who denies me before the people of this world, I will deny before my Father in heaven. You see, I had all the evidence. The evidence was solid. I had the spiritual guidance, dreams and visions. I had the emotional guidance. But I had not proclaimed because I knew it would cost me my family. But as if God knew what I was thinking, the next verses say this. He who loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. But the biggest issue for me was that if I, as the only son in my family, accepted Christ, my family would feel like I had stabbed them in the heart. I mean, my mom and my dad, who loved me so much, who cared for me, who raised me, who gave up everything for me, would feel like I was attacking them. Um, my dad would, whatever money he made, he was enlisted in the Navy, so he didn't make that much up until he got into the further ranks. Um, but whatever he made, he'd send most of it back home because that's what sons do. They take care of their family in our culture. Um, so he, he ultimately became a, an officer. He switched over to um, the officer side and he spent 24 years serving the U.S. Navy. Um, so my family was one which very much said, you know, you are a part of this nation. You're supposed to protect and defend this nation because it's taking care of you. Um, and so we were a strong Muslim American family. That's how I prayed. First thing in the morning, I would pray a prayer in Arabic. Had no clue what it meant. <laughs> but as I grew older, my mom taught me, Nabil, this is why you recite this every day. This prayer means all praise be to God who gives me life, causes me to die, and will raise me up again. My mom and my dad, when they got here, 
uh, they really did have nothing. I don't know if you remember, but back in the 70s, maybe even in the 80s, when you went to McDonald's and you got a Big Mac, there was like a styrofoam container and they had like a little cardboard thing to keep the Big Mac standing up straight. Um, well, they used to wash those out and clean them and use them as their dishes because they really had nothing. Um, my dad would, whatever money he made, he was enlisted in the Navy, so he didn't make that much up until he got into the further ranks. Um, uh, but whatever he made, he'd send most of it back home because that's what sons do. They take care of their family in our culture. Um, so. Uh, the right, first question that was asked about... Uh, <laughs> Uh, is secret? Uh, yeah. Is it okay to have a secret wife? I wanted. I would love to go back there. Please, yeah. I mean, I think I I haven't personally looked into it, so I'll take your word. So I don't know. There might be a different opinion. I don't know. I, I take what Hijab said yeah. about like that. It's like agreed upon that you 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 shouldn't. Um, that it's okay to do a secret. But I would love to speak about the implications mm -hmm. that it has a bit more because it's um, something I feel like. Um, um, that we didn't really discuss yeah. because, okay. Okay. because the implication here is that the secret, like, okay, obviously nothing is really secret. Again, you can't have a secret wife per se because, to, uh, yeah, it's uh, marriage in Islam the way it's the, um, it's constructed. Yeah, it's, but let's not sugarcoat it. It's a secret from the first wife. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna. Do you get, know what I I'm mean? Gonna, I'm why? gonna get that. I'm gonna why get that. Yeah, but this is the whole thing, may, may, right? May the by the way, guys, jokes aside, yeah, this is a serious matter, yeah? The Prophet, peace be upon him, said that a man who has two wives and he favors one over the other will come on the day of judgment, leaning his body will be leaning on one side. We joke around here, this and there, but it's not a joking matter. It's a serious matter. It involves another woman, it involves her emotions. There's so many factors. I'm not here to say pro or against. We just want to, all I want to do in this show is so we understand, just understand us. Well, like, just understand us the way we understand you. That's all we're saying. I'm not saying to anybody, go and get married again, etc because there's consequences like you said even hijab he said he doesn't recommend it because it can be detrimental islam in the way that islam has um constructed marriage is marriage is like a communal thing so there's always other people involved uh, but uh it will be a secret to the person that matters the most which is the wife right and i don't think that uh that causes cohesion uh, in the long term, in a, in a society, imagine if we were to live in a society where there's a considerable amount of men who do this, uh, there's so many implications that come out of it. The children out of those marriages, do they, do they know that they're siblings? Thank you. These, I'm so, so glad you've mentioned so, children. So all these problems, could, okay, but I'm just saying that for those brothers <coughs> who do these things, you just always, you must understand that the, the pain and uh, the misery mm -hmm. that could be a byproduct of this thing mm -hmm. Is, is tremendous and and therefore I wouldn't like I said not I, I think that what they would say there's 